My name is Dirk van Brakel and I have worked within automotive design for more than 30 years, most recently as Head of Design and Concepts for Bentley Motors. We're travelling in a bespoke Bentley Mulzan. Bespoke is really um, uh, giving the customer a choice uh, to have his own personal taste incorporated into the, the product, in this case with the car. People associate the UK and London with Bespoke because we have a history of uh, craftsmanship, of tailoring. We're very good at, at um, making things in a mass way but also adapting them for particular personal use. I'm going to meet uh, two top designers of other areas to see how they approach design, what is important in, in terms of the bespoke aspect of the design work they do and how this reflects back to my work at Bentley. Hello Dirk, pleasure to meet you. Let me, let me put you in this. Yes. Feels great. Feels great straight away. This is where bespoke really, really comes into play for me. Small details, it's the precision that really, really matters. It's the discovery for a customer at the end of the day that feeds the passion. So it really is about the delight factors that you can create. What is interesting about bespoke is that when you're working with an individual, you're having to get to know that individual, how they act, what they want out of something, okay? So it really is about um, uh, drawing them in and uh, feel, making them feel comfortable and work with the professionals to get the pos best possible results. That for me as well, in terms of the creative process and working together with an individual is the exciting stage because then you're on a journey together. This is about ordering something to your liking and uh, which will be built by hand over several hundred hours in yeah. our case. There's so many customers out there, they want to enjoy something luxurious, they want to be seen in the right car, in the right suit, and we have to be able to satisfy this, this demand worldwide. I agree. And, I, and that to me really, really is about the future of Bespoke. The future of Bespoke is embracing this globally and internationally. And if I think of our brand, Bentley, we sell a world car. It, there are cultures there that we need to learn from, that we need to uh, be able to approach with our bespoke capability and, and satisfy these customers as well. Bespoke is very important to Bentley. If it's not bespoke, it is not special enough. It's fundamental to luxury products. This is a really excellent example of a collaboration between technology and aesthetics. I've never seen a single piece of carbon fibre that big, six, six metres long. It's successfully taken a Formula One car positioned in the middle of it. In the middle of it? Yeah. What, what is it you think about this city, London, that drives so much innovation? Creativity that comes from London is what makes London truly unique, and that is a sort of slightly anarchic, can-do, don't-care, cheeky independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and taking risks, experimentation. Mm -hmm. Sebastian, what about the future? The future of design is offering a service. To me, it's very important to be democratic about this. It's one thing operating on the top end of the market. Often, I think the biggest, biggest challenge as a designer is to actually create something which people really can engage with and, uh, and enjoy at a very good price point. It's terribly important not to lose sight of that in an age of mass production. As technology um, speeds up, it will be possible to have something produced for each individual. So bespoke will become a, um, a very democratic process. Uh, and will have a very democratic feel to it because I think in the future it will be possible to make everything particular to the, to the customer, to the consumer. The attention to detail in here is phenomenal. This is just uh, extreme. And how long would you say a car like this should last? More than 90% of every Bentley ever made is still on the road today. I think the, the marriage of uh, design provenance and high-tech um, fits perfectly because that's what everyone is as, as aspiring to. You want a new Bentley but you don't want the new Bentley to drive like a Bentley from 50 years ago. You want to dr the new Bentley to drive like a car does now or even like a car is going to drive in 10 years time. A luxury product has to appeal from the emotional side. 
it's not necessarily a rational purchase, it is an emotional one. It's something you really long for, it's something you want, and you want to put your own personal uh, stamp on it. That's why Bespoke is really uh, part of the Bentley offering and has been uh, since day one.